Serge Gnabry, well he's the talk of this season's Champions League. He scored four times against Tottenham Hotspur in the group stages and then more recently scored a brace against Lyon in the Champions League semi-final. So it should not come as a surprise to anyone that transfer market values him at 72 million euros and I'm pretty sure when the updated list comes out, his value would be much higher. Now keeping these facts in mind, the fact that Arsenal sold him to Werder Bremen for 5 million euros and then recently signed a winger for 70 million euros who isn't half as good as him just shows how bad Arsenal messed up with him. And the fact that Wenger stated that he believes that Gnabry is going to be a top top player in the future just makes his sale even worse. So what happened here? How did Arsenal drop the ball so badly with Gnabry? Well, let's talk about it. Now, the facts that I mentioned early on of Arsenal selling Gnabry for pennies on the dollar was just me being a little bit me. The reality was, it was Serge Gnabry who wanted out. Arsenal gave Gnabry his Premier League debut at the age of 17 and then in his second senior year, Gnabry made 9 Premier League appearances which is very good for a player of that age. But what happened next is where Arsenal messed up big time. In March of 2014, Serge Gnabry injured his knee and as a result he was sidelined for over a year. So when he made his return, Arsenal then sent him out on loan to West Brom. Arsenal believed that a move to West Brom would see Gnabry regain his fitness, gain some momentum and play in the Premier League a little more regularly. They did the same with Aaron Ramsey when he came off his long injury layoff and they were pretty successful there. They believe that with Gnabry, they will see a similar sort of return. That's not what happened. Sending a guy like Serge Gnabry to a Tony Pulis side was just not going to cut it. At West Brom, Tony Pulis publicly embarrassed Serge Gnabry, publicly stated that he is not going to cut it at this level and then sent him back to Arsenal. This pretty much broke Serge Gnabry. This sort of treatment is not good for youngsters, it could ruin careers. And Gnabry probably felt the wrath of Tony Pulis because upon his return to Arsenal, Gnabry wanted out. His contract was running out and Gnabry believed that it would be best for him to return to Germany. Arsene Wenger has since then stated that he wanted Serge Gnabry to stay. He believed that he had some serious talent. But the dejected Gnabry said no to his offer and headed to Werder Bremen for just 5 million euros. At Werder Bremen, Gnabry lasted only one season, but this was good. He played 27 times for them in the Bundesliga and scored 11 goals. That's when Bayern Munich bounced and they signed him for just 8 million euros. Bayern saw the same talent in him that Wenger had seen earlier and like Wenger, Bayern believed that Gnabry was not ready for the top. So they too like Wenger sent him out on loan, but not to a team managed by Tony Pulis, but to Hoffenheim who was managed by Julian Nagelsmann. Nagelsmann is known for making a career out of young up-and-coming strikers and that's exactly what he did with Serge Gnabry. Gnabry learned a lot from his year-long spell under Julian Nagelsmann and his game went into the next level. So Bayern Munich brought him back upon the expiration of the loan deal. In his first season, he was put under the tutelage of Aryan Robin and Frank Ribery and in games, most of the time, he was preferred to play ahead of those two. And this season, we are finally seeing Gnabry flourish to the level that Wenger had initially hoped for him. One lone move to a wrong club under the wrong manager has pretty much cost Arsenal 150 million pounds. That's how badly they dropped the ball with Serge Gnabry. So yeah, this was a video on how Arsenal slipped with Serge Gnabry. Like and subscribe, have a good day and I will be seeing you very soon.